Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is factoring polynomials completely three. I will give you another two questions. Factoring completely for eight times a cube minus twenty-seven times b cube. From this question, remember this is obviously related to a cube minus b cube question. But you may be confused because from our formula we have the formula is formula is is a cube minus b cube equals a minus b if this is a cube minus this is first is a minus and the later on no more negative. So a square plus plus b square the midterm is multiply these two which is multiply a b without negative. But now you have then you may say oh I only have a cube minus b cube formula I don't have 8a cube minus 27b cube formula but actually this question confused you the reason is the formula is this one but the question is that one so what we need to do in this situation if you want you want to be uh, you feel like confused you can change a and b in the formula to x cube minus y cube right you use different letters and this is equals x minus y and x square plus xy plus y square you can write oh this is the I don't use this one I use that formula in this question 8 a cube minus 27 b cube I can write in 2 because 8 equal 2 cube a cube right time minus 3 cube times b cube and this one we can write in 2 2 a cube right because this is a cube this is a cube we put together is a 2 a cubed minus 3 b cubed right after that one you can see this one 2a is in our formula is x the first term because we cube here is a cube cube is y cube this is minus right so it is x 3b is y see that's why it's not confused and very easy to figure out so we follow the formula x minus y x is 2a minus y is 3b and multiply sorry this one is, is square x square right x square which is 2a square be careful 2a square is bracket so it's better to write here write 2a square Again, it's not only 2a square. If 2a square is 2, then now 2a bracket square got the 4a square, right? So, and plus x is 2a, multiply y is 3b, plus y square, y is 3b, together square. That is most of the situation, students may mistake it. Okay, so now we will have 2a minus 3b, then you got 2a together square is 4a square, right? And plus 2 times 3 is 6ab, plus 3b together square is 9b square. That's the question. Second question. Factoring completely for 16x16 16 
exponent minus 16. Obviously, 16, 16, 16. This 16 is exponent. This 16 is in front of x, 16 exponent is coefficient. So we have common factor with 16, so we can do this way. 16 x, 16 exponent minus 16, we can write 16 times x to the 16 minus 1, right? And this one, which formula we need? To, we don't have 16 exponent formula. The one thing we have x squared minus y squared, this is minus, we have x squared minus y squared, or we have a cube minus b cube. But the 16 is even number. That's not related to the cube, the difference of cube, but it's related to the difference of square. But this is 16, this is 1. The 1 can be written as any exponent. The 1 square is 1, 1 cube is 1. So what we need, we can write any exponent on the top of 1. We can write this one. We can write 16 times, we change the square bracket. We put, because we need a square. So we need a square here minus 1 square, right? Because 1, you can write any exponent if you need. But now this is 16, so inside is 8, right? So now we have square square minus we can apply a square minus b square in this situation we can see that a is the first step a is this one this is the a the x8 exponent this is the a the b is one right square minus b square we're using this formula right this one is a plus b multiply a minus b so we can write this one into 16 in front we can write a square square a is 8 x to the 8 x to the 8 this is the a minus you need to write the plus first, maybe plus one b equal one. Multiply x to the eight minus right. So we have x to the eight exponent plus one. This is no more factory because not cube. Is square is eight is not related to cube because eight is even number. So plus one, that's it. But eight x to the eight exponent we still can factor. So what we need to do this way. We put x to the eight plus one. And this one we can do x square minus one square here. See again? But this is eight, so this is a four exponent, right? And we still can apply this formula, a square plus b square. But in this case, a is x to the 4 exponent. So we can write the 16 x to the 8 plus 1. Multiply inside is x to the 4 plus 1. Multiply x to the 4 minus, right? In this case, a is x to the 4 exponent. That's what a plus b, b still 1, a minus b. The next step, we can see this two, 16 times x to the 8 plus 1 with x to the 4 plus 1, no more factory. But for this one, we can write again, right? square x square minus 1 square 
This is squared, right? Because x squared squared equals x to the 4 exponent. We break down the exponent step by step. And then this one we have a squared minus b squared again. So we go to this top. We equals to 16 multiply x to the 8 plus 1 multiply x to the 4 plus 1 multiply this one is x squared plus 1 times x squared minus 1, right? In this case, x squared plus 1 also done. But we still have one more step to do factoring for x squared minus 1, which is this one, x squared minus 1 squared. So the last step we have 16 times x to the 8 plus 1 multiply x to the 4 plus 1 multiply x squared plus 1. We have x plus 1 times x minus 1. See? So this is the final answer. We have 16 times x to the 8 plus 1 and multiply x to the 4 plus 1 and multiply x to the square plus 1 and multiply x plus 1, x minus 1. Then this is all factoring completely. Okay? So this is presented by Wise Guy. Thank you.